If you spend a lot of time typing on your computer, whether it's replying to emails, answering chats, or taking notes, I want to share a tool that has helped me save a significant amount of time. It's called Mac Whisper, and if you're using Windows, there's an alternative called Whisper Typing that functions in a similar way. Mac Whisper offers a free version and serves as a powerful transcription tool. It utilizes an open source model developed by OpenAI called Whisper, which is designed to convert audio into text with impressive accuracy. However, Mac Whisper doesn't stop there. It takes things a step further by integrating with a language model, enabling you to do even more with it. Let's jump right into the use cases. Almost everything I'm about to show you can be done with the free version of Mac Whisper, but there are a few features that require the Pro version. The Pro version is a one-time payment of €59, Euros, which can be a worthwhile investment if it helps you replace subscription-based tools that cost around $20 to $30 per month, especially for tasks like meeting notes. When you first install and open the app, this is what the interface looks like. Your sidebar might appear empty at first. The very first step you need to take is downloading the transcription model onto your computer. Since Mac Whisper operates without using an API, all the transcription happens locally on your device. To do this, go to the Models section, click on Manage Models, and download the large V3 Turbo model. As of the time of this recording, this is the best option available. It's the fastest, most accurate, and most efficient model for transcriptions. Now let's go ahead and set up dictation so you can start using it right away. First, click on the gear icon in the app, navigate to the dictation section, and assign a key for dictation. This key will act as your push to talk button. Personally, I like to use the right command key because it's easy to reach and doesn't interfere with my regular typing. The way it works is similar to a walkie-talkie. Just press and hold the key while speaking, then release it to stop, and the transcription will appear instantly. If you plan on using dictation frequently, I highly recommend testing different keys to see which one feels the most comfortable and natural for your workflow. Some users prefer the left command key, while others might find a function key more convenient, especially if they want to keep their hands in a more neutral position while working. It's all about finding what works best for you. So take a moment to try out a few different options and see which one feels the most intuitive. Once you've assigned your dictation key, it's time to choose an active prompt. For now, we're using the cleanup prompt, which is the default setting in the app. This is a useful option because it automatically removes mistakes, corrects small errors, and ensures that your transcriptions remain clean and readable without altering the original meaning of what you're saying. If you ever want to adjust this setting, you can explore other prompt options in the menu to find one that better suits your specific needs. To start using an AI service with Mac Whisper, head over to the Services section. I highly recommend setting up an API key for Gemini 2.0 Flash because it offers 1,500 free calls per day, which should be more than enough for most users. This means you can use the AI features without worrying about extra costs. Setting it up is simple. Just go to Google AI Studio, generate your API key, and enter it into Mac Whisper. Once you've done that, Select Gemini 2.0 Flash as your preferred model. After that, return to the dictation settings and choose it as your active AI service. Now, your transcriptions and AI-generated text will be powered by one of the most advanced models available. Now, let's see how we can use this for emails. Here's an example. I receive an email and need to reply, but I don't want to type out my response manually. Instead of using Mac Whisper for this, I'll take advantage of Gmail's AI-generated response feature, since it has access to the entire email chain. This is important because Mac Whisper doesn't have full context on past messages. To reply, I simply press my push to talk key, speak my response naturally, and let the AI handle the rest. This allows me to craft quick, thoughtful replies without typing a single word, making email communication much faster and more efficient. Here's an example of how this workflow works in practice. Let's say I receive an email and want to respond quickly. 
I press my push to talk key and say, Hey Garrett, thanks for your message. This Titan forum sounds interesting. What topics do you discuss there? What kind of audience participates? And how big is the forum? You'll notice that Mac Whisper automatically removes any stumbles, filler words, or small mistakes before passing my response to Gmail's AI. This means the final version is polished, natural, and ready to send without any extra effort on my part. By using this method, I save about 70% of the time I would normally spend writing and editing emails manually. This workflow is especially useful for anyone who spends a significant amount of time responding to emails. Instead of typing everything out word for word, you can simply focus on what you want to say, and Mac Whisper will refine it for you. If you prefer a specific tone or writing style, you can also tweak the cleanup settings to better match your personal preferences. Now, let's jump back into Mac Whisper and take a closer look at the dictation settings. Inside this menu, you'll find a variety of dictation prompts designed to improve your transcriptions. The default cleanup prompt is great for proofreading and removing mistakes, but if you have specific needs, you can also create custom prompts tailored for different tasks. This allows you to fine-tune the AI's output based on how you want your text to be processed. One useful prompt is a prompt generator. If you use AI often, you know that better prompts lead to better AI responses. Writing good prompts can be time-consuming, so I created a prompt that tells Mac Whisper to format my speech into a well-structured AI prompt. Here's an example. I want to create a social media post about how people should stop using keyboards now that AI transcription is so advanced. I press my dictation key and say, create a social media post arguing that people should stop typing and start using AI transcription. Make it provocative and engaging. Even though my phrasing wasn't perfect, Mac Whisper formats it into a structured prompt. It automatically adds instructions to make it concise, engaging, and attention-grabbing. I can then refine it and use it as a well-optimized AI prompt. This is especially useful if you create a lot of content. Instead of manually refining your prompts, Mac Whisper can help structure them automatically. This saves time and improves the quality of the AI-generated responses. Now, let's look at two more use cases. The first one is meeting recording. Mac Whisper can replace subscription-based tools like Fathom or Otter. It can listen to your Zoom or Teams meetings, transcribe them, and let you store the transcript wherever you want. If you work in content creation, research, or business, integrating Mac Whisper into your workflow can significantly boost your efficiency. You can experiment with different settings, prompts, and AI models to find what works best for you. And that's it. Thank you for watching.